This clip covers lesson practice number one from set one from this section of the notes. And what we're going to do here is we're going to enter this equation into our calculator. Draw a quick sketch of it over here. And then we're going to just practice changing our window settings to show each quadrant on our calculator screen and then do a sketch down here of each quadrant changing these settings. And what's going to happen is we're going to have practice changing the window settings four times so you kind of get used to using them. So let's go ahead and enter that into our graphing calculator. So we have x squared minus 9 hit graph and that's what the graph looks like in the full screen here and if you remember from the reading the settings that we currently have on our window are negative 10 for my x min x max is 10 y min is negative 10 and the y max is 10 and if I go back to the graph that just means that this value right here is negative 10 for our x min this value right here is 10 for our x max and then down here is y is equal to negative 10 and y is equal to positive 10 up there. So this parabola looks like the y-intercept for it is negative 9 and the x-intercept is negative 3 and positive 3. So let me just go graph this. We had negative 9 as one of our points. Then we had 3 for that point and 3 for the intercept right there. And we'll just go and do graph this. So this is what the full graph looks like. So this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. So let's go down here, and before we change the window settings, let's just think about this. Let's do the top left here. And if we're doing the top left, that means that this value right here is negative 10 on my x-axis. Over here, when I go up to my y, that is going to be positive 10. And then this value right here, this is the origin. For my x, it's going to be 0. And for my y, it will be 0. So I'm just going to put 1, 0 down there. So let's go change the window settings to our graph and see what this quadrant looks like. So hit window. And again, uh, negative 10 is okay for our x min. Positive 10 is okay for our y max. It's this x max that's going to be 0 here. So go down to that. Hit 0. And then it's the y minimum that is going to be 0 here because that's the lowest y value for this quadrant. And then I'm going to hit graph because everything else is set. And this is the part I'm going to sketch. And it makes sense. Remember up here we had the x-intercept of 3 and this is uh, the quadrant that we're looking at right now. And so we're just seeing that part of it. So let's go ahead and graph that. So 1, 2, 3, there's our intercept. And we just draw it up like this. It may not be perfect, but we're just doing a sketch. All right, so let's change the values so that it shows. We might as well do the bottom left now. So the negative 10 is going to stay the same for our x min. The only thing that's going to change here, well, there's a couple things that are going to change. The x max is going to stay the same, but the 0 is actually going to be my y maximum value because it's at the top. My y min is going to be negative 10. So let's change our values here. Oops. So we go to the window. We said the x min and the x max were fine, negative 10 to 0. Let's go down and switch our y min to negative 10 and the y max to 0. And we'll see this quadrant. Hit graph. And we see this chunk of the graph right here because that's the quadrant we're looking at. So. We go from the intercept of 3, the x-intercept of 3, or negative 3, I should say, down to the y-intercept of negative 9. So let's plot that. So we have negative 3, it was right there, going down to the y-intercept of 9. So this graph continues down right here. So let's go ahead and do this quadrant over here. 
Again, we have 0 in the middle here. And now on this right side, this is going to be positive 10. And so our values that are going to change here, the y's are going to stay the same. We still have 0 for our max, negative 10 for the men. But our x's are going to switch like the y's did last time. We're going to have 0 for the men and positive 10 for the max. So let me pull up the calculator here. Get window. And 0 is going to be my x men. And then the x max is, oops, positive 10. And everything else is fine. Hit graph. And we have that part. So we're going to go from uh, negative 9 to positive 3 here. So let's do that. All right, so let's go back and do the last quadrant here. And in this last quadrant, what's going to change? Let's hit the window button. Just look at this. The x min is going to be 0. That's fine. The x max is going to be 10. The y min is not going to be negative 10. It's going to switch to 0. So hit 0, hit enter. And then the y max is going to be 10. Hit graph. We should be all set. And there it is. So this goes up. Now, you wouldn't normally look at a graph this way. We were just practicing changing the window settings. And the other thing that I want to review that I probably should review in the beginning is just what quadrants we, um, how you label your quadrants. And remember, this is your first quadrant. This is your second quadrant. This is your third quadrant. And this is your fourth quadrant. And that's always good to review. So go ahead and do the lesson practice number two, and then you'll be all set for this set of notes.